Hey guys, it's Graham. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about the top three things that host families look for in an au pair. Before I even start this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep making content just like this. Every new subscriber and every like goes such a long ways. Also, I know my former host mom will be watching this video, so thank you so much Ava for giving me your input and the chance to be an au pair. I miss you all very much. That being said, let's jump right into this video. I wanted to make this video because a lot of au pairs don't know what host families look for when they're looking for an au pair. Looking for a host family can be a very daunting process and there's a lot of moving parts that go into the process and a lot of new au pairs don't know what they should say about themselves or what aspects of their personality they should highlight to find a good host family. This has been by far probably my most labor intensive video because I have messaged host families, over 20 host families from all over Europe and put some posts on au pair Facebook forums. So it has definitely been a video that is more labor intensive, but I have so much enjoyed hearing these different host families responses because each country has a very unique response. I'll get into that in a second. Once I start telling you about the top three things, if you don't find yourself falling into one of these categories, that doesn't mean that you can't be an au pair. That just means that you have certain aspects about your personality that perhaps you should highlight with a host family. Everyone is unique and there's not one certain au pair personality type. You can be an au pair regardless of your personality traits and some list that I make up does not mean that you can or cannot be an au pair. Having said all of that, the first thing and the most common answer that I heard when host families look for an au pair, they are looking for someone who is responsible. This is by far the top answer that I got across all of Europe and it makes complete sense because as an au pair you're caring for a family's most valuable possession, their children. So they want to make sure that you're going to be a responsible individual and that you can handle any situation that might arise that involves the safety and security of their family. An au pair needs to be exceptionally responsible because you are living with this family or you're living in very close proximity to them and you have a lot of access to their lives. Most au pairs spend quite a lot of time around their host kids and host families want to find someone who's going to be responsible and who's going to be a good influence on their children. Another big answer that I got that kind of falls under being responsible is being reliable. Quite a number of host families that I talked to said that being reliable was important for them in an au pair because they're looking for someone that they can count on as kind of an extension of their family. Being a reliable au pair will not just help you fit into your host family, but it will also make life a lot easier for you and help you integrate with your host parents better. You're going to bond much more with your host family if they know they can trust you and rely on you. Reliability is also really important because anyone who's ever worked with kids knows that kids can be some of the most unpredictable things in this planet. I mean, kids, one second they could be completely happy and the next second they're just throwing an absolute tantrum or or just little nightmares and so you never really know what kids are gonna do next so being reliable being responsible is incredibly important for handling these difficult situations that might arise as you're caring for somebody else's kids. You never know when a kid's going to get sick or get hurt and so families want somebody who they know is going to kind of go the extra mile, be reliable, and help out the family even at the cost of, of their own freedom or their own plans that day. The last thing I have to say about responsibility is in my experience I found that responsible host families look for responsible au pairs. So what that means is if it seems like the host family is demanding a lot from you or demanding a lot of responsibility for you, normally that means that they're going to hold themselves to the same standard and that they're going to be very responsible on their part as well. So this is certainly not something that's bad in a host family. Personally, I prefer a host family that puts a lot of trust in me because I can put a lot of trust in them in return. The next big answer that I got, and this one specifically refers to Italy and Spain, is someone who's caring. One thing that's kind of funny about this overall question that I asked all these host families is each country gave me a bit of a different answer. So for example, the Germanic countries like Austria, Germany, when I ask host families from these countries this question, they normally said something along the lines of responsible, uh, dedicated, hardworking, honest, and then countries like Spain and Italy answered along the lines of caring, compassionate, loving, playful. So you definitely get to see the different personalities of these different countries by the 
answer to this question. And I just wanted to throw that little bit of information in there as we go into the second point, which is caring, because this is something that Spain values quite a lot. I speak from experience. Spaniards really value someone who is caring and who's going to care for their kids. Host families want to see that they're hiring someone who's going to be a caring individual and they're there to care for their kids and for their family, not just to have cheap travel or a cool experience. While traveling is a huge part of being an au pair, the biggest part is caring for somebody else's kids. So you need to be a caring individual and a compassionate individual to do this part of the job because if you're not, then it's, it's not gonna be a very natural thing for you to do to care for somebody else's kids. Anytime you work with kids, it requires a certain level of care and selflessness because in order to raise kids and watch out for kids, you really have to sacrifice a bit of your own personal liberty and a lot of the times your own choice to take care of them in a more efficient way. I think being a caring au pair really has two parts. The first part is what I've kind of mentioned, the physical caring aspect, you know, being loving and playing with their kids. And the second part that I think is really important is caring for the family in general. This means going above and beyond what's required of you in your contract to really treat the family as if they were your own family and care for them in a manner that reflects that attitude. This definitely falls back to the first point on reliability, but these host families want to see that they're getting someone who is willing to go the extra mile and care for their family even when it's a bit inconvenient for them or when they weren't planning on it. Being an au pair is an incredibly unique experience because it's not just a job, it's becoming part of somebody else's family. And so sometimes that means you have to go a bit out of your comfort zone and sacrifice your your own desires to help the family in general. This last point on caring falls back into responsibility, but I've also found that host families that look for caring au pairs are normally caring host families. So if you do have a host family that is looking for someone who's very caring and compassionate and willing to go the extra mile, normally these host families will be willing to go the extra mile for you as well. The last big answer that I got, and this one definitely relates more to Southern Europe as well, but it's host families look for people who love to work with kids or who enjoy being around kids. This point was probably the top of my list, so I was surprised that not more host families said this, but host families want someone who actually likes working with kids. As an au pair, your number one job is to work with kids. So if you don't enjoy working with kids, you're not going to be happy as an au pair. If you've watched my other videos, you've heard me say that if you don't like kids, don't be an au pair. Kids are such a huge part of being an au pair. If you're not willing to work with kids and be patient with them in the good times and the bad times, then being an au pair is probably not right for you. Host families are looking for someone who can be patient and loving with their children because children are super difficult to work with. They are lovely one second and then total nightmares the next. So you need need to be someone who's kind of flexible and genuinely enjoys being around kids or else you will hate being an au pair, you will be miserable in the job. The last thing I have to say about this is if you don't enjoy working with children or if you don't enjoy being around children, then you're probably not going to make a connection with your host kids. And making that connection with your host kids is such an important thing because once you have that connection, your whole life becomes so, so much easier. They listen to you, they want to be around you, they value you, and vice versa. So making a big connection with your host parents and with your host kids is probably, I would say, the most crucial part of being an au pair. Okay guys, so those are the three big things that host families look for in an au pair. I hope you've enjoyed this video and, and maybe you've gotten something out of it. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. I'll be posting new content every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much for your support. Muchas gracias. Hasta luego.